Hey folks, Captain Dave here. Welcome to the Wolf Den one more time. Well, I just got something today that I've been just sort of dying to try. I have been watching and looking at this thing on Amazon for months. And I finally decided to go ahead and get one. This is referred to as a rec mount, R-E-C mount. I mean, it says right there, R-E-C mounts, okay? And um, what this is, is something that is extremely hard to find. Uh, Amazon is the only place that has it. You can't find hardly any info about it. I looked around. Um, I looked around YouTube, and I found some Japanese reviewers. Uh, I think two of them that uh, were basically talking about this. This right here from Amazon. <laughs> That's it. That's all I could find. What this is is another GoPro mount. There's two things that I want when it comes to mounting situations. I want fast and I want easy. And the reason being is, is if I'm normally doing my videos on a boat or out, out and about somewhere, and I'm not super action, but I'm out and about, I'm on the boat as most of the time. I want fast and I want easy. I don't want to have a whole lot of I don't know what you'd call it. I don't want to. I don't want to do a whole lot of handwork with it. Okay. So I did that one sort of uh, not a review, but it was a um, a show and tell more like about the GoPro Jaws. Okay. I'm using it right now on a Hero Two. There's the GoPro Jaws. We've already talked about this. Fast, easy, move, move this thing around. It makes a lot of noise, but move this thing around. Put your camera right up in here in the clip. I even put one of those little rubber doohickeys in there just to really make sure it's holding. Okay, love this. Love it. In that last little show and tell video I did of it, I called this my favorite GoPro mount so far. Well... I also found this, and this is the rec mount, as I was just describing, and what it is, it's a clamp, and it's got serious, aggressive teeth in there, seriously aggressive, okay, and this clamp is strong, I mean, it don't open wide, but it's not made to open wide. Little screw right there. You got your GoPro mount here. You got your nut right there. Okay. And what you can do is take this and clamp it onto a backpack. Clamp it onto your belt down here. You can clamp it anywhere. I just I just had it clamped on my hat just two seconds ago. Just to see what it was like. But here's the neat thing about it. When your GoPro is in here. You can take this and it swivels. So here you are, you're clamping here, okay? And then you got it there. And then you can you can go all the way around and um, adjust the angles. So you can clamp it this way and then have the camera this way. Let me show you how it works. Take your, take your GoPro. Now, everything I've got is a Hero 2. Um, I'm kicking it old school. I'm very, very happy with the Hero 2s. They work for me. I have absolutely no problem with it. I'm using the Wi-Fi backpack right now. I'm looking down at my phone as a monitor. Okay. There's my phone. 
it's the monitor when I'm doing videos like this. Okay, I can set it right here and make sure I'm getting my shot. I don't mind having the backpack. I think uh, the Hero 2 for me is all I really ever need. So I got three of them. But, okay, let's get off on the other. Get back to the rec mount here. REC mount. Mounts on Amazon. I'll put the link below in this video. So when you're done watching this video, you can go to the Amazon link. But there you go. This was what I was wondering about. And you know what? I love Amazon for basically two reasons. Shipment is fast. Real fast. And it says ask a question from other purchasers. Well, I bombed a question out there because I was very, very concerned after looking at this because Amazon is selling so much stuff that sometimes in their descriptions, eh, that's a little off, you know? I mean, I've seen where they're selling reels. They showed a picture of the reel, but they don't necessarily specifically say what model number of that reel it's going to be. So what I did was it said rec mount clip. Showed some wonderful pictures, had some nice pictures, okay, of, uh, you know, and on the guy's belt, on the guy's backpack, the whole nine yards. Um, and it said, you know, Hero 2, 3, 4, whatever, any any of them, all of them. Here, from Hero 1 to Hero 3. And what I was worried about is because everything, everything is made now for the Hero 3. I mean, there's even one reviewer down in Australia, you may have seen him on the internet, named Blunty, and I guess it's because he's really blunt. I think his name is Nate. I said something to him about an item he was showing. It was exclusively for the Hero 3. And I said, "What's what of us, us, us guys that are... Hero 2 users still? What are we, second class citizens these days? Because we don't go out and spend money on a brand new camera? And he comes back, what are you, stupid, you idiot, and all this stuff. And I'm like, what? Number one, I unsubscribed from his channel that fast. I don't give a crap what that guy's got to say anymore. Because it's true. Even this item that he was showing, which was like a, uh, a camera holder that had... Um, a super battery that plugged into your GoPro, okay? And it had all these different ways of mounting tripods on it and all. With one simple little adapter, they could have made this thing that, or the thing that he was showing, being able to use with Hero 2. And he gives me this attitude? Well, screw that son of a bitch. So... When I, I wanted to make sure, even though this said hero, from heroes to hero threes, I wanted to make sure. And what I love about Amazon, getting back to that, long story, but getting back to that was I wanted to make sure that this wasn't for just the hero three. Because the hero three, when you buy it, it has this brand new case that's slimmer and trimmer. Slimmer and trimmer. Okay, not like all things in the world, slimmer and trimmer. But, as you can see, you put this on, there's the clip. And this thing is so strong. There's the clip. Clip it onto something right here. And your Hero 2, your Hero 3, your original Hero, whatever fits nice and flush right up against that. And of course, then you can swivel it. Okay. And then you can clip it this way. Now, if you can't swivel no other way, I'm sure you could put a couple like adapters or something on there if you wanted to really complicate this thing. I'm not into that complicated BS. 
Simple, simple, simple. But there you go. Move this back and forth like that. Okay. I'm trying to show, look at my monitor here so I can show you. Okay. Rotates. Clip opens this way. All right. And one sort of nifty, I guess you could say, little feature here is, let me take the camera out. Oh, and by the way, let me just PS this for a real quick second. These bolts, I can't really remember what they're called, UK Pro. Oh my gosh, take the rest of your GoPro bolts and throw them away. That right there is the cat's ass. Okay, sticks out past the camera. None of this trying to reach in there and get the GoPro bolts. Big old wing nut looking thing. I don't even use my other bolts anymore that came with came with my GoPro. I've, I went and bought two sets of these, so I got like six of them or eight of them or something like that. But here you go. There's what it is. Let me take the camera out. And what they even do here is... They give you a little tie-off point. Let's see, can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Right there is this little tie-off place. So you could tie it off if you really wanted to. Okay. It's pretty well made. I mean, there's nothing much to this. It's just a really super strong grippy clip. And let's see here. Let's say you're one of them hat dudes. I've got a GoPro mount on my hat, on a, on a hat. Okay, there you go. Grip it on your hat. You know us rednecks, we always got to have our hats on. Okay, there you go. Look at that. If I wanted quick, 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 I'm out. I got this thing on my jacket. I want to go bam, head mount. Bam. Jacket mount. Just that quick. So, this thing is awesome. Awesome. So there's two things that if you're a outdoor boating enthusiast slash fisherman, you may want to look into. It is on Amazon. There's the rec mount. This thing is $22. I bought two of them. When I had a little money and then I, it took for, it seemed like with holidays and, you know, the way they deliver it, the way they ended up delivering this is, I don't know much about it, but it seemed like to me in my area, this went from Amazon, which they fulfilled the order on these, I believe, because it was quick the way they did it. FedEx took this to my post office. It was there. Uh, for some reason, I guess, it tr I tracked it. It said, shipper has dropped off at the location. Okay, at the destination. Well, the destination was supposed to be my front door. Well, it didn't come that way. I think what they do, and it obviously did, is FedEx ended up taking this to my post office. So they take it there on a Saturday at whatever. They drop it off. Well, Saturday delivery. Heck, my, my mail lady, she's probably got her truck loaded and is heading out the door at 5 o'clock in the morning or something, right? So um, I didn't get it on Saturday. And it kept saying, out for delivery on Saturday. This is just this past Saturday. Today's Tuesday. And... Uh, so I didn't get it. So Sunday went by, no mail delivery then. Then Martin Luther King Day on Monday. Well, here it is Tuesday I got it. Well, I think I ordered it last Tuesday. So sometimes you got to, I don't know what the deal is with the Amazon shipping. Um, but, you know, I got free shipping because I ended up buying two of them. I'm seriously into redundancy. Okay. I'm really into redundancy for the sheer fact when I see something really cool, if it breaks or something, I don't want to be without it. So, 
Here's another little mount that I just wanted to show you. There's three mounts that matter to me on my boat right now when I'm out going to be doing videos. It's direct mounts, clip clamps, clip clamps or whatever you want to call them. There's the GoPro Jaws with the flexi arm. And then this summer while shark fishing, check this out. That is cool. I am going to mount this. You take this bolt out. I give you a bolt. This isn't a bolt for mine. Got this on Amazon too. Everything seems to be a little expensive. You know, 22 bucks, 40 bucks, 12 bucks. But what you do is you lift this up and it's like a zip strip. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the foregrip of one of my, you know, big roller, big game rods while we're shark fishing. And I'm going to put this on. I'm going to zip it real tight. It clicks. And that's going to be sitting on the foregrip. I'm going to take the camera, hang it upside down. And the camera is going to be like that with the rod bending right in front of it, right? So that'll work out good. And then I can quickly take it off and just leave this on the rod if I have to, okay? Um, and then what it boils down to is, of course, the camera will be upside down. What I'll do is I'll flip it and, you know, editing. But um, this is for rod cam going to be the rod cam for sharking this summer and I'm telling you I'm going to be sharking this summer I am full on going after the studs I mean if these guys could sit on the beach not that everybody does it around here but I've seen it in South Florida and everything if these guys can sit on the beach and catch themselves a 500 pound hammerhead I think the jetty wolf can do it just outside the beach well, thanks for watching and thanks for visiting the uh, Wolf Den one more time for some GoPro information. See you later. Hopefully it will be on the water.